Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick way to match skin tone with the brush tool. Now, this is a really easy technique, and it's much faster than using gradient mapping, which I'm going to teach in another lesson. But I wanted to get something out here for you guys, because it's been a while since I actually uploaded a video, and I'm trying to be more consistent in the future. And at the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to try to make my schedule Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for uploads. And I'm going to try really hard to stick to that, at least for a little while, to try to get some more content out there. Because you guys have all been so supportive and amazing with your comments. So, to start, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer with Control alt shift n Then we're going to hit B for the brush tool. And now let's go ahead and zoom in, and let's pick a nice color on the face here. And as you'll notice, the hand is a completely off color. It's kind of gray and lifeless compared to this warm color on the face, which is what we're going to be fixing. So, we're just going to go in and we're going to hold down Alt. And we're going to sample one of these nice warm colors. And you don't want it to be too dark like one of these ones over here from the shadow area. You want it to be lighter, but you, you want it to have some of this warmth to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go down here. And then we're just going to very lightly paint over everything. Resize when you get a little closer to like the edges of clothing or anything like that. Just because you don't want to actually paint on it because it will change the color of everything. Uh, we can easily clean that up later, uh, but uh, I find it a little better if we just kind of take the time to match it ahead of time and make it so we don't actually have to go through and clean up as much. So just keep doing this, paint it out, and do that. And as you'll notice, this is back. This photo is way back in the days when I used to watermark everything. Uh, but I, I chose this one because I wanted to use it as an example because I edited this and I didn't know this technique back then. And I was really frustrated with the fact that I could not get it to match. And it was such a simple solution. So I wanted to use this because it's, it's a problem that's actually affected an image of mine. I'm not just, you know, teaching something that I've never encountered or whatever. But this is like an actual issue. So just go ahead and finish up painting like that. And it's a little rough. But like I said, we'll, we'll clean it up. So now what you want to do is there's two blending modes you can select here. And that is hue and color. Now hue sometimes works, sometimes doesn't because the problem with hue is just kind of matches it and as you'll see it doesn't it doesn't really do that. What it does is it kind of matches everything to the same spectrum but if it's a different lightness like if it's more pale or something like that this is just a quick way to do that and what it does is it actually just matches the color of everything. So if we toggle this on and off you'll see if you, we look at the knuckles here and down over there when we toggle this layer on and off, it changes them from that pink color to this like brownish kind of beige. But it does not actually give us any warmth to it, and that's because we're doing hue. So what we want to do now is we want to select color, and it's going to turn it way too vibrant and orange. So the solution to this is to make two of these. So let's go ahead and duplicate this, and then let's set one to hue, so that way it matches everything and then one to color to bring in that warmth. So now let's go to our color layer. Let's reduce the opacity. Let's back out so we can see how it's matching. Uh, it doesn't look so good right now. So let's go ahead and reduce the hue layer as well just to about maybe like 50% so it kind of has some variation. Bring some of that warmth back in. Let's go ahead and group these and toggle it on and off. Now you can see it brings in just a little bit of warmth to kind of match it better to the other skin tone. Now I think I could probably get away with using just a little bit more warmth to it. So, oops, I accidentally brought up my layer style menu. Let's kind of go ahead and increase that a little bit more from like 12. Let's try something like 20. Now, it may look a little unnatural because we know what it looked like originally and we know that we added that color, but on just a quick glance, no one's really going to see that it doesn't already look like that. Let's actually go ahead and try to match it a little better. Um, one thing you can also do is if you're trying to get the right color, like say you decide that that's not a good color, even though we sampled it, you can also hit Control u and bring up Hue Saturation. And then you can just kind of dial it back and forth until you end up with something more uh, in line with what you actually want. So, say I wanted to add, I wanted it to be a bit more yellow than less pink. I could dial this in to be plus seven. And all that does is just kind of changes the color that we painted with. So, let's toggle that on and off.
Yeah, I think that looks good. There's a vignette of the lens that makes the brightness fall off and everything like that, so it's important to not like, match luminance, but I think overall skin tone, that's a pretty decent match. Uh, you could spend a lot longer tweaking this, but I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys so you can kind of understand the basics to how to get this to look more in line with what the rest of the skin tones look like. So I hope this is able to help you guys. If it was, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Feel free to share this on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, any social media you see fit. As long as my work is being shared and people are learning, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.